Hi. Welcome to Camp Root and our summary of Branches of Niagara Campground. Branches of Niagara is located on Grand Island, New York, and is a quick 13 minutes away from Niagara Falls. We are impressed with branches, and the location isn't the only reason to stay here. Hopefully, this summary will help you make decisions as you choose where to stay when you visit the Niagara Falls area. We use the Wi-Fi with reasonable success. It's hit or miss whether I can get work done on Campground Internet. When I needed to access my company's VPN and do some work, it was a little slower than home, but successful. So we were very pleased with the Wi-Fi service compared to other campgrounds. The bathrooms are clean and the showers might be the best we've seen with good water pressure, temperature control, privacy, and tiled floor and walls. Everything you could ask for in a campground shower. I found three bathhouses with laundry on site. Each laundry had two washers and two dryers. The laundry facilities were also clean and well maintained. The pool area has a good sized pool, separate lazy river, and separate toddler splash pool. As part of the pool area, there is a bathhouse, picnic pavilion area, and the activity center. The lazy river does not have a current, but was where we spent most of our time due to it being a little warmer and the novelty of being able to swim around in a river with a concrete island and wood bridge. The dog park is at the front of the campground, near the store and RV check-in parking. There are two fenced-in areas for your pets. Half of the park is shaded with large trees. There are no agility stations or toys. However, picnic tables are available for use. Additionally, if you are looking for dog waste bags, they are available at the entrance to the dog park. Branches has done a splendid job incorporating entertainment and recreation into their park. On site, you will find miniature golf, yard games, swimming beach, canoe kayak rental, fishing, zip lines, gaga ball, basketball, big screen movies, playground, tetherball, horseshoes, pedal bikes, laser tag, hiking tech, trails, and wagon rides. Some of these activities are offered for an additional fee, like the zip lining and laser tag and pedal bikes. We enjoyed zip lining and the cost was appropriate. Pro tip, a laser tag isn't used often. So if you have laser tag guns like we do, bring them with you to play on their course. It is also important to have walkie-talkies here. The kids want to go and explore, and a good set of radios will give you peace of mind and reduce the need to play an unplanned game of hide-and-seek. We especially enjoyed the catch-and-release fishing. The pond is huge and is home to sunfish, bass, catfish, and what our kids like to call them, big monsters. There are many places to fish around the pond, and there is also a sizable island to fish from as well. Canoes are available for rent, if you would rather fish on the water. The water is reasonably clear, so we enjoyed watching the fish swim by and take our bait. The store is well stocked, the staff are friendly, and our three night stay was enhanced by Site 44. This site is 50 amp water and electric. The pads are stone and well maintained. Site 44 was bordered by the campground roads, but the trees and shrubs enclosed us in and gave us a little private space. Tent sites are down their own road near a bathhouse and had a similar private feel. Pull-through sites afforded space for the big rigs. Finally, the cabins and yurts looked as nice as the rest of the park, and if you frequent these lodging choices, you won't be disappointed. Garbage and recycle cans are located throughout the campground. It was nice to find these close to campsites and easy to dispose of trash and recycle. The staff come around often to empty the bins. We also noticed a lot of parking areas throughout the campground. Our site just barely fit a 35-foot Class A and F-150. Either people had guests, the yurts and lodges had a lot of cars, or people just liked to park in the auxiliary parking. In summary, we enjoyed our stay at Branches of Niagara. If you are looking for a couple nights stay to see the falls, or if you are spending a week to enjoy the park's many activities and amenities, you will find what you are looking for. We were happy we spent three nights. We went to Made the Mist one morning and Cave of the Winds the other morning. The afternoons were spent hanging out at branches, enjoying a lot of what we mentioned above. We hope this summary adds to what you will find on their site and your other research. Let us know if you have questions. We'd be happy to share our experience at Branches of Niagara RV Park further. Additionally, look around and check out our other videos. We would be delighted if you subscribed. To complete the Camp Root experience, check out our website, camproot.com. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram where our accounts are also titled Camp Root. Safe travels.